Okay, so today I'm going to do a quick review of this fixed device that you plug into your car and right there you plug it into the little port that's down usually under your dash on the driver's side and uh, it talks to your smartphone and it tells you um, what's going on, what your check engine light's saying for example. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to open up the device, or at least the packaging here, and I'm not exactly sure if there's any instructions. Whoops, there they go. Okay, step one is download the fixed app on your smartphone. Do not open the app until step four. Number two is make sure Bluetooth is enabled on your smartphone. All right, that can be pretty easily checked. You just click your settings button and make sure that it's Bluetooth is on. Number three, turn your vehicle on and leave the engine running for five seconds before opening the fixed app. Well, I'm assuming that we would have wanted to plug in information about the car or, I don't know, plug the chip in. So um, we'll have to see how, what we do next. Open the fixed app and tap register. Input your information to register for a fixed account. Input the fixed sensor code located on the back of your sensor on the fixed app. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do these steps. That didn't sound good. This is my wife's van that I'm putting this on so that I can keep track of the emergency lights. Um, and so it's on. Let me open the, the fixed box. And it pops out pretty easily. Um, and it looks like this. It's got this kind of a thing to set up to plug into the little um, harness thing down below. And now I have to open my app and enter my code. Install the fixed sensor in your OBD2 port and turn your engine on. Alright, so I'm going to install this down below in my sensor. I'm going to turn my car off though since it didn't tell me to do that ahead of time. Alright, so you can kind of see the port down there. I'm going to go ahead and push that on there. That's all it really takes. Okay, so I'm back up here now in the fixed app tap to add the fix sensor. Okay, so I'm going to turn my car on. Okay. Fix would like to make data available to nearby Bluetooth. Okay. So it's scanning right now. Um, and you can kind of see the, the scanning. All right, new sensor, tap to add. Your vehicle name, this is a Pontiac Montana. So I'm gonna put Montana, this is my wife's van. Success. The sensor has been saved. Make sure the engine is running. Next we will connect to your vehicle. Got it. Okay, start. Um, do you, uh, it's asking questions now. Enable notifications. Allow. Enable location service. All right, I'll just say allow. Next. Turn engine on. They've told me several times to turn my engine on, so it's still on. Engine is on. Now it's up to a screen where it says tap to scan. So here, theoretically, it's going to scan my codes and explain to me what's going on with the dash lights. For example, we have one that says service engine soon and we're not sure exactly what that means. And that's one of the reasons this app is supposed to be good. Enter mileage. Okay, I didn't expect that. Two problems detected. Okay, so my details 
engine knocking at high RPM. Oh, that's the error code. There's an error code that tells me what that what the symptoms would be. Um, there's two error codes. Both of them end with engine knocking at high RPM. And trouble code snapshot data. Calculated engine load, engine coolant temperature, short term fuel trim, um, long term fuel trim, intake manifold absolute pressure, engine RPMs, vehicle speed, um, MAF airflow rate, throttle position. Interesting, and there's a place to email your results. Alright, now there's a thing here that says clear engine light, so I'm going to do that just to see what happens. And I think maybe I'll, I'll show this. Okay, so you can see my, my vehicle here. And I have this service engine soon light. If I do clear, it seems like, let's see what we got. Oh, it cleared the light. That's interesting. Now it wants the mileage again. So... I am not sure why. I'm just going to do cancel on that one. Alright, so anyway, it looks like that worked. So that's kind of exciting. I didn't expect that one. I'm going to go and try this on my other vehicle and see if I have a similar situation. Okay, so in our Kia, it was a little bit harder to find the port. So it's under the dash. There I am. Um, it's under the dash and you can see it right there. So we're hoping that one's going to work also. Okay, so I'm getting ready to try this on my Kia now. And so what I want to do is since I still have my thing that says 2003 Pontiac Montana, I'm going to see how easy it is to add another car. Oh, you just click the picture of the cars. <laughs> uh, sometimes I outthink it, overthink it. So I'm going to do an add a vehicle existing sensor all right and I'm gonna need to start this car to give the sensor power all right so let's try this here existing sensor let me close the door so you don't have to listen to that Okay, add a sensor. Just to use a new sensor or an existing one, existing sensor. Um, tap the circle to scan and it will automatically detect. All right, sensor not found. Sensor not found. All right, let me reach down here. Tap to scan. Communicating, that's better. Maybe my sensor was just loose. So that's something to remember. Okay, so select which vehicle. Now I'm going to add a vehicle. Enter your VIN. Well, that's another thing I didn't expect. Let me grab my VIN number. Okay, so I put my code in there. My VIN number, I'm sorry. And it's coming up with a couple things here. One says cylinder 3 misfire detected. Hopefully that's a spark plug. Um, and the other says injector circuit open cylinder 3. All right, so it says I should have engine misfire, slow acceleration, and rough handling. So that's disappointing. And then there's also another cylinder three misfire detected. Um, engine may hesitate, increase vibrations, hard to start. Well, you clearly heard that it was hard to start. So, um, interesting. All right, so I'm wondering now 
Let me see if I do the clear engine light. I don't know if it'll clear, but we shall see. Should have taken a screenshot or something. Maybe it actually stores the information. I guess I should have checked first. All right, it actually cleared the light. Well, I'm impressed. I wish you could make my broken gas gauge work. Um, it didn't ask for my, for my mileage on this one, but it asked for my VIN number. So that's kind of an odd difference. Um, the other one didn't ask for the VIN number, but it asked for my mileage twice. All right, so I've got my Kia in here. I have my Pontiac in here. I wonder what it would do with a Toyota. I'm not sure if I'll try that today, but we'll have to see. All right, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, this, these are about $50 or so. This is just the, uh, the basic version. There's a 2.0 or something out that I haven't really, I, when I ordered one, I thought I was getting the newest thing, but I, I apparently ordering the cheapest one, um, I didn't. But right now my, my lights are off. I know what's kind of wrong with my cars. Um, and so that's a good thing, I guess. All right, thank you very much. And let me know if you have similar situations or if there's something that I'm doing wrong that, um, that maybe you have ideas about. All right, see you next time.